The Frequency Dependent Noise Attenuation, or FDNA module, is a noise suppression algorithm which suppresses coherent frequency content by equalizing that content according to the frequency content of a predefined frequency model, which is obtained from a seismogram provided by the user. FDNA should be run before any equalization has been applied to the data. FDNA is a good option for the attenuation of ground roll noise. FDNA operates over sliding windows in your dataset. It first calculates the median amplitude in each window over a model gather containing mostly signal, and then calculates an operator using the threshold value for that window. FDNA then uses that operator to attenuate noise on your input gather. To use this module, first load in some gathers. Next, we'll sort by source SP and offset, and start up a seismic loop. FDNA requires two inputs, your regular input gather and a model gather that contains mostly signal. We'll first create our model gather. To do this, I'm going to use the Mute by Velocity Range module, but you can use any mute module you wish. I've defined my mute to cut out the ground roll and first breaks on this shot. The new output gather, which contains mostly signal, will be the model gather for FDNA. You will notice that I've put the mute module inside another module called flow. Anything contained by flow is automatically skipped by the seismic loop when it automatically assigns data connections. This way, we can ensure that FDNA gets the regular unmuted gathers for an input instead of the muted model gather. Next, add your FDNA module. The input is set automatically by the seismic loop, so all you have to do is set the output of our mute by velocity module for our model gather. Then, set your time and trace windows. Time window is the window inside which the module will calculate your median amplitudes, and sliding time window is the increment by which that window advances. Trace window defines the width of that window. If you wish to adjust the threshold at which the module begins to attenuate noise, you can adjust that parameter under Collection Frequency Time Windows. The default here is 150%. If you wish, you can set the module to run multiple iterations over your data by increasing the iteration number. Try changing any of these parameters to adjust the degree of noise attenuation and to suit your data. To see a more accurate representation of the change in amplitudes across your input, output, and difference gathers, adjust your normalization in the view parameters to User Defined and sync this across all the shots. To get your own free evaluation license of G-Platform, please visit us at geomage.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful tutorials, tips, and updates on the latest features G-Platform has to offer.